Taking a photo has come a long way since the days of using a Polaroid or Kodak Instamatic. First there were digital cameras, doing away with the need for all that messy film. Then cameras moved on to smartphones, removing the last pitfall of forgetting your camera when you went out. But now a new app on iPhone since 2011 and released to Android just yesterday is ready to hark back to the days of Polaroid and instant photos, but with all the convenience of the modern era. Instagram allows you to take square photos rather than the usual four to three aspect, apply filters and share them with your friends. Easy. So here I am with my trusty iPhone and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I've got the Instagram app open and I'm going to use a clever front mounted uh, camera on the app to uh, take a photo of me. So here we go and uh, what you can see here is if you flick through the filters at the bottom you can see it actually does make quite a big difference to how the photo is displayed. If you look at something like Sierra, you can see there's a border around the picture. Or if you look at Lo-Fi, there's kind of like a nice hand-drawn style border. Uh, you've got Inkwell here, which is your classic black and white filter. But my favourite is the Kelvin filter right at the end. So press tick to accept the photo. Now, on this next screen, you can configure your sharing options. So my Twitter account is already configured, so I simply need to slide the button across to share to Twitter. Uh, if I wanted to configure Facebook, I can just click the configure link here. It will click through to the Facebook app where I can enter my login details and share via Facebook. And if I click show more, you can share via Flickr and Tumblr and all the usual suspects. So clicking done, a few seconds to load, and ta-da, here we go, here's my photo. Now, one of the other things I wanted to show you is that if we use another uh, app called PicFrame, you can open that up here, and you can see that this gives you various options for uh, framing, for comp composing multiple photos into one photo. So uh, I've got three photos I'm gonna use, so if I pick one of these three options. Now you can just click on the squares to open a photo. So, here's the one I just took, and then I can use a couple that I took earlier as well. Then just clicking the share button on the uh, PicFrame app, and we can share back to Instagram. It will then open the Instagram app up for us. It, you can apply another filter if you want, but I think that might be overkill. Press the tick button. And there we are. There's the, um, the composite photo in my Instagram feed. So one final thing I'd like to share with you, if I just grab my laptop. Now, um, for those of you who are familiar with it, uh, you'll know that Pinterest is a kind of pin board where you can pin photos and other content that you find on the internet. Now, Pinterest has been combined with Instagram to produce a site called Pingram. So if I just load up my personal Pingram page, I have to log in to my um, Instagram account. Uh, and then you can see all the other photos along with photos shared by my friends in my Instagram feed. Now even I can feel like an artist.